I've been to Ethiopia three times before. My parents always, when they come here, they become more comfortable and they feel at home, like I'm doing in Sweden. To see them feel happy when they meet all their families, I become happy, you know? Because to leave their country and come to another country and start a new life, that's warrior stuff, you know? That's mental strength. I'm a pretty good runner, but when I'm comparing with these guys, I don't think I have a chance. Actually. I'm more tight now than before a tennis match. <laughs> We were here early, but still we were not even first. A lot of runners, so it was a lot of motivation too. First time running in the Kenisa Bekele club, very high altitude here, tough to breed. That's why a lot of professionals come here and train. And for me, that was the first time and I really felt it actually. In Sweden, you can catch the breed when you breed. Here it looks like you breathe empty. You have to go for the air, like. I think it's good to have someone to train with, and especially when it's my father. We have a special bond. He was the one who always pushed us when we were younger. Even after every tennis session, we had to run. When we were growing up, he had all the prizes from his running uh, champions and we saw that, no tennis. But the time is changing now. Now they give me a little bit advance and they come in the finish line before me. We are at the biggest outdoor market in Africa. I've never seen anything like this. It's the first time I'm here and uh, it's pretty astonishing. It's a coffee country, Ethiopia. A lot of coffee stuff. There is a lot of faith and hope here. People are happy, like a lot of things spontaneous, not so much about time. Last time I came here was more to visit my grandma's grave and now I'm doing a little more stuff, like watching around and to come here is a big, big thing. It's good for the eye to see different stuff, you know. I live in Sweden and my parents grew up here and it's good for me to see where they, where they come from. You know, they only have one shoe of the pair, then they know where the other pair is of every shoe. I don't know. Uh, this is my father. <laughs> uh, this is my mom's grandmother, okay. Etaba. This is my grandmother, my mom's mom. And this is my mom's sister. Oh, oh brother, <laughs> what am I saying? It's crazy, my great-grandma and my grandma has blue eyes. I just don't know how. Very unusual, it's like, that's extraordinary. I hold this one. Hello, here's Ellie. Oh, should we go inside and watch some pictures? Here's a picture of me and uh, my brother Rafa with our grandma. <laughs> Old Ellie. I look the same now. They use me for any child commercials or what? <laughs> it smells so good. This is a national Ethiopian. Is Traditional thing? bread. Gluten-free. <laughs> <laughs> and when dad was 18, he was going to go in the army. So his sister told him, come to Sweden. My mom, when she was 18, was war in Ethiopia at that time. 
So she couldn't work here. There was no system, no structure. So she came to Sweden and after that, I actually don't know. They, they never told me exactly how they met. <laughs> we don't know each other when we live here. But we, we meet in Sweden for the first time. They say to me, Elias, we're tired of running now. Please make it in tennis. If I can make something in tennis, I think that would be cool too for the country. We're at the Mescal Square. Everybody comes here. It's a park where everyone get together and run and play football. It's all 6.30 in the morning and it's full here already, so it's pretty amazing. Everyone gets together. It's like we're connected. It's something. I don't know what it is. He's a Taekwondo fighter. I ran behind him and it was okay for him. He wants to help me. When I'm around people like him, I grow a lot and I really get inspired by him. Now we're at the Ethiopian Skate Park Association. It's for everyone, it's a bit dangerous. That's why when I tried I fell a few times, but otherwise I think it's a good environment. I heard some guys talking, they moved home from US and Germany and Norway here to start this camp, so it's a great, it's a great thing. I'm a second, Anna. I'm a second. Thank you. Thank you. In front of Kirkos Church, we can see here Zemzem Kebe Meshecha, which means Zemzem's better shop. I have four sisters, and she's oldest. She's the one helping me to send to Sweden. This church gave me a nice life, and before my mother did, she came every morning, every morning. Most of Ethiopian people, they understand me because my mother was a very nice mother, you know. I lost my father when I was 12 years and my mother was very beautiful. Oh, oh, my mother is, oof, I feel so sad. You have to have faith in something, you know, and we believe in God and uh, as I say, it helped us our life like we came to Sweden, you know. It's a big, a big advantage. I was here when I was six and practiced here actually. So I know all the guys and ball boys and stuff. It's the first time they watched me live here playing and they watch me only on TV and YouTube. For me, it's fun too, actually. It's very tough. You're breathing heavily. It like, it kills your heart to run here. If you check for your physical status, it's very good to practice here. I think it's a great initiative from ATP. I think it's a good first step and uh, Obviously, there is some guys who are doing very well at the top. It's going to be a fun, uh, fun to see in November where you're at. I'm very blessed. It's good to see it for myself, this kind of stuff. And I think many more people should see how it really is. And then uh, you become more uh, grateful. <laughs>